actually don't know where to start. <laughs> I've never had an interview where I don't know where to start. There's so much. <laughs> but let's, let's talk about why you decided to do this book and why now. Yeah, it's, it's funny. That's the question that everyone's, what, why now? I've been asked to write a book all the way through my life. You know, once we built a brand, then I sold it, then I fought through cancer. You know, that was the perfect time once I'd come through all of that kind of chapter of my life. But I never felt emotionally ready, and I didn't feel emotionally ready to unpack all the memories, because I knew if I was going to write a book, I had to, it had to be really truthful. And I wanted the highs and the lows in the book. I didn't just want to write about all the successes, because it wouldn't have been real. When did you know that you had this amazing sense of smell? My sense of smell would be like my compass. So if the face creams were being made on the stove, I could tell if the almond oil was too hot. I could tell if the, the waxes weren't, hadn't sort of um, mixed in with the rest of the face cream. I could tell when the dog was sick because it had a strange smell behind its ear. I'm so glad I had a shower this morning. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's one sense, not two. Right. So what I see, I smell. What I taste, I smell. So the smell is always the predominant um, sense for me. I read about you know you picking up the phone to Evelyn Lauder and saying, yeah. "I think I'm going to die." What I said was, "I have cancer. Right. I'm frightened. I'm going to You're die." That's what I die. said. Right. And she said her very first words were, "Don't forget, you make lemonade from lemons." It was such a strong message for me. And yes, I was frightened. I was going to die. I had a two-year-old little boy. And the very first thing I thought of is I'm never going to see Josh go to school. I'm never going to see him grow up. I'm never, e even talking about it now makes me yeah, I can I've see you well. choked up. I remember thinking to myself, I can't die. I can't die. You won't die. You won't die. And then I started to calm down and think, OK, put my Joe head on. What would I do if this was business? Mm -hmm. I would find the best doctor, okay. the best person, and I would go and get help. Exactly. I knew I knew I I didn't have the ability to fight it on my I didn't have the resources I didn't know how to fight cancer but I did know somebody who would know yeah. how to fight cancer and so that was the wonderful Evelyn Lauder uh, she introduced me to Larry Norton Dr Larry Norton in New York who features in your book doesn't he there's a picture oh, of him he's do you know what that man well I wouldn't be here without that man when I went back into Joe Malone, I just didn't feel part of it. I didn't, no. and I, you know, I had gone through a year chemotherapy. Yeah. I'd gone through surgery after surgery after surgery, so of course I'd changed. Uh, but then looking at my family, I thought if I've got six months or nine months, I want that to be full of memories. With them? Yeah. I didn't want, you know, I'm 13 years old clear, so it clearly didn't come back, thank yeah. goodness. But I didn't know that at the time. But I, I never regretted you know something, you can't regret things in life. Uh, you know, your glass must always be half full, no matter what happens. Because you always have the power to choose in your hand, no matter, even going through cancer. So I chose to spend time with my family and to be there. The cancer chapter, in a funny way, was the least traumatic. And you'd, you would have thought that that would have been, yeah. you know, to face your own mortality. But that was the least traumatic. I think remembering, building a brand, and all those, I started to remember all the lovely little moments all the way along the way. If you could only ever smell one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? <gasps> oh, what a good question. Um, what, would I, what would it be? I think it would be my home and my family. If I could Aww. only have one smell. I mean, listen, if I was creating, that's different, but if it would be my home and my family. Yeah.